I left home when I was 15, 16. I had stolen from my mum, I'd stolen from my stepdad. I was creating havoc in the house. I sort of bounced around from hostel to hostel. When I was about 18, I got a shared house, started to steady out a little bit. I got pregnant with my daughter. I suddenly became aware of this responsibility that I had. So I started to try and get my life on track because there was someone else. And I actually had this sort of little thing in the back of my mind that maybe this will change everything. Even though I had people in and out, I felt quite alone in it all. And I realised that I had this child and I had no idea what I was doing with her. When she was about a year old or something, I started dating this other guy. We were drinking a lot. It got to the point where we used to fight. I think it, even police came into the house one time looking for him. The health visit or someone had come round and they'd seen it. So then they recognised that something wasn't right in this relationship that I had. I put on a good front for a little while for them just to get them off my back. But actually I was really desperate for the help. So then that sort of relationship continued to when I fell pregnant with my boys. I thought, OK, let's move out of the area, let's try and do everything again. I was quite emotional, quite highly strung, and I self-harmed, and I'd done it quite badly. So I had to take myself to A&E. When I got help, they then informed me, we've called the social services and they've taken the kids. I, couldn't, I didn't understand it, because it had never got to that point, because I'd always managed to sort of pull it all back together again. So then when I got home from the hospital and I saw the kids had gone, I just, I just died inside, I guess. Everything I'd worked for, the only good things that I had in my life had been taken from me. So I pushed the big button and went, let's go into self-destruct, and that was it. I was like sort of really like in, in the depths of addiction now, like I had music going at all hours, madness, different people coming in and out. I could overhear my neighbours talking about just me and what, what, I was, what was going on with me. You can come at me all day long, but they said something about my kids. I went flying out the front door, I was on the first floor, I went down, started banging on this one neighbour's door. I can't even remember what she said, if I'm honest, and I just launched at her and cracked her straight on the head. As soon as I did it, collapsed on the floor, and I sat there crying my eyes out, going, I'm so sorry. It was like someone else had taken over altogether. It's just all the emotions, everything bubbled up into that moment. got this Christmas card and in it it had um, it was from the angel tree and it said the three gifts that my kids had been sent and it was the things that I'd requested on behalf of them and to know that they'd asked me for something and there had been other people involved that helped make this come true the first time my kids had received presents from, from me and they were what they wanted and, and my daughter actually still talks about it to this day. For a long period of my life I had been a nothing, a nobody and I was a failure as a mother but all of a sudden there was people who I don't even know who knew I was in prison. I could have been in for anything, for all they knew. But they didn't see that, they saw a person. And that was the importance of Angel Tree for me. They didn't see a crime, they didn't see a conviction, they didn't see a failure, they saw a person. And at that moment, I felt human again. What you may see as just a small gift at Christmas or a little bit out of your wage or a little bit out of your time, this is actually a seed that you can plant within someone's life that could actually grow and bring change and freedom into so many people. You have the ability this Christmas to make a difference in not just one person's life, but in a whole family's life. So if you can do it, I ask you to do it.